guys, in today's video I'm going to show you how to DIY low kai bracelets. This is also a huge summer collab with eight of my friends here on YouTube. Their names are Mustafa from Cool Kid 17, Kaylee from My Life is Kaylee, Christian from Kayla, Nia and Christian, Sharon, Perry, Chloe from CC Heart DIY, Amy from Indigo Amy, and Elvira from Simply LV. So make sure you go watch their videos, their links will be in the description box. So make sure you go subscribe and comment on their videos. And also, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Yui, and please subscribe and become a part of this channel. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So these colorful low kai bracelets are great for summer, but when you're on a tight budget, they can get pretty expensive to buy. But I have a solution for this problem. DIY the bracelets. So to start, you will need some eight millimeter beads. These beads are the same size as the loci bracelet beads. So the size of loci bracelet I will be making will be 177 centimeters because this is the size that fits my wrist. DIYing these bracelets gives you freedom to make whatever size bracelet you want and need. So now on a piece of paper or card, measure out a 17.7 centimeter length strip or whatever size of bracelet you decided to make and cut that out. So to know how many beads you need for your bracelet, line the beads up against your card strip and this should tell you how many beads you will need for your bracelet. So then you will need some clear thread and some blue or white tack and you simply put the white tack on one of the ends of the clear thread and thread your beads onto the thread. This blue tack or white tack, whichever you're using, will help stop the beads fall off the end whilst you're threading them onto the other end. So then you can remove the blue tack from one of the ends and you can just tie a tight knot to secure the beads and form the shape of a bracelet. need some silicone to create your silicone mold. In a bowl add four cups of water and add one cup of soap and stir everything together. So then I'm using a calc gun to squeeze out my silicone into the bowl of soapy water. Put in as much silicone as you need for your bracelet mould. Use your hands to knead the silicone in the soapy water for a few minutes until it no longer sticks to your hands. This is how you know that your silicone is ready to be moulded. Once you are sure that the silicone is ready, remove the silicone from the soapy water and create a circular shape with your hands before pressing the bracelet into the silicone. You want to only push the bracelet into the silicone less than halfway for the rest of the DIY to work successfully. Let your silicone mould set overnight and in the morning it should be ready to use. Once the mould is hardened you can remove your bracelet from the mould and reveal what will be your loci bracelet. Next you want to prep your mould before use. If you put silicone into the mould without any layers of protection between it and the silicone it will stick and ruin your project. So I'm using a clear spray top coat and giving the mould a fairly generous spray Make sure the liquid doesn't pool at the bottom of the mould. If it does, just tip the mould upside down and let it drain out. So on a real loci bracer, it has two black and white beads to symbolise the highest and lowest points on earth. Put black silicone into one side of the mould and opposite the black, put white silicone into the mould. Then, use a coloured silicone of your choice, I'm just reusing some from another project, and fill in the rest of the empty mould, making sure that the black and white join with the coloured part of the bracelet. 
The colour part of the bracelet symbolises the journey through life and all your high and low points in life and I love this concept about this bracelet. Let the bracelet set overnight and in the morning you can just pull it out of the mould and it should be ready for the next part of the DIY. You will need to repeat the steps for the other half of this bracelet. Create a line of silicone on top of your fresh silicone and take the other half of the bracelet and align it up correctly and squish it down until you see some silicone push out from the connection points. Once you have done that, let that set overnight until it is hardened. The next day you can move your bracelet from the mould and reveal your hard work. You can easily pull off any overhanging silicone, just be careful so that you don't ruin your bracelet. And finally your loci bracelet will be done. This DIY turned out really well and if you decide to make it, be sure to tag me in your Instagram post with the hashtag DIYs with you. Make sure to check out my friends' videos and their channels and make sure to subscribe to them. And if you are new to my channel, hi my name is Yui and I hope that you can subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. Bye!